National Football League brings us to downtown Detroit and Ford Field, the home of the Lions. The punter, Jack Fox, handling the kickoffs. And off we go from Ford Field. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10. First carry for the man from Memphis, Tony Pollard. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. So you find yourself on the verge of your drive stalling out. And not only do you pick up the first down, Mike, but you get a huge pass completion in the process. Really nice job keeping this opening drive of the game alive as they're really trying to start this game on a high note. Levis to throw it here on first down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is a pass that just needs to be completed, Mike. The opportunity was there. His guy was open. They ran out of room a little bit there on the sideline. Couldn't quite get the ball up and down fast enough and ends up being thrown out of bounds. He'll try again here. Second and ten. From the gun, they'll give it. It's Pollard. And he'll bring this inside the 30. A gain of about four. They need to get this to the 23. Here's third down. From the gun, it's Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The relationship between the pass rush and the pass coverage is critical. The better you rush the passer, the more pressure you can take off your coverage, and that's a great example why. So on fourth down, the veteran Nick Folk will try it for Tennessee. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good, and the Titans are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Here's Craig Reynolds to return. Their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Right to the air, here's Goff. Pass complete, it is St. Brown. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. When you throw on the Detroit Lions tape, Mike, I mean, of course we all know who Amon Ross St. Brown is, but the best thing about his game is there's really nothing he doesn't do at a high level. Make difficult catches, move the chains, but he's also that big play elite receiver that everybody's looking for. Top five in catches, yards, and touchdowns a season ago down the sideline past the 40 and he'll be out of bounds but not before he gets inside the 35 yard line 
Wow, they are moving the ball to start this drive. 21 on that play. They'll go play action with Goff. That'll be caught. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flag. Goff gives it to Gibbs. Penetration is the key to run defense. Stop the running back before he has a chance to get started. That's exactly how it played out here. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. A second down throw for Goff. It is caught left side by St. Brown. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. Bates' kick is good. And the Lions will tie the game at three apiece. goals for both sides on their opening possessions. 3-3 as this one's kicked away. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Titans offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and ten. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. The motion man is Boyd. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. And some good blocking, springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And that is incomplete. Tyler Boyd was the intended target for that one. And it's going to be fourth down. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I can promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Lions offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. On 
on the ground to start. They give it to Gibbs. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Back to the drawing board for this run game, Mike. The offensive coordinator and his staff, they have to do a better job giving plays, giving opportunities to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. Throwing on second down. Goff. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Off the play fake. Here's Goff. He'll get this one complete to St. Brown. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. And this is where the speed of your inside receivers are so critical. He lines up in the right slot. But Mike, look how far he covers to where he ended up receiving that ball. You can't have all day. Those defensive linemen, they are coming after your quarterback. So the speed in the slot is critical. That's a great example why. They'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. On second down, Goff. To the right side, that's St. Brown. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So, a field goal apiece here in that first quarter. All even on the scoreboard. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. First and ten. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. That pass caught by Amonra. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. From the gun, it's gone. A throw complete to Tim Patrick. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting to third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. But when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. They face second down and seven. Here's Goff. This one caught by Patrick. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Here's Gibbs, and he's in! Jameer Gibbs, touchdown Lions! Now remember back, Mike, their first drive, they had to settle for three. So they definitely didn't want to have to do that again. So really solid drive from start to end, and they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown. Bates, good with the extra point. 
and the Lions take a 10-3 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away a safe kick taken at the five and they'll be set up well as he is past the 35 yard line out comes the Tennessee offense they get set to see what they can do they'll start out first down and ten Now Levis taking off. Terrific starter there. Gain of 15 and a first down. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great gain, and ultimately a first down. Levis to throw on first and 10. Left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. He'll look Hopkins' way again. This is also complete. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big gains like this. The motion man is bored. They go play action with Levis. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. The next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. They send him right out of the slot. They run on the jet sweep. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. It is third and ten. Here's Levis to throw. Now a screen. Here's Pollard. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Titans cut the lead to four. It's ten to six. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Reynolds now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Lions' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On play action, Goff. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. 
It's incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. Goff. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. From the gun, on third down, it's gone. He'll let this one go long for Williams. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. So, on fourth down, the Lions send out Jack Fox to punt. Jaquan Jackson is back deep for Tennessee. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The Titans offense getting set to get back to work. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Here's Levis. In trouble, and down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Throwing on second down, Levis. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins was the intended target for that one. And it's going to be third down. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. From the gun, it's Levis. That is caught by the man wearing zero. Calvin Ridley. Here's second and six. Here's Levis. Catch made. That's Boyd. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Levis to throw. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. So we've reached halftime here at Ford Field, and the Lions have the lead. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, we're Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports halftime report. Reynolds now on the return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. 
The Lions offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll do so with first and ten. They'll go play action with Goff. Catch is made by Wright. Second and seven. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On second down, it's Gibbs. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Goff. Open man, left side, he's got it. And a big strike for good yardage there, all the way up to midfield. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Now Goff. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. Second and a yard. On the ground, this is Gibbs. He'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first down, it's gone. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On second down, Goff. That'll be caught. It's Jameer Gibbs. Who's well, brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. They need to get it to the 27. This is third down. That one intercepted. Picked off by Chita Bay Awuzie. Levis to throw it here on first down. And that ball led him too far. Maybe too wide. Out of bounds. Incomplete. That's clinic tape here by the receiver. He identifies quickly it's man coverage, and you've got a go route. You've got to stack that defender. Get on top of him and make him play through your body to contest the throw. This ball's thrown with better accuracy. Not only is it a big completion, but he's got a chance to take this thing the distance. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Alex Anzalone in for the tackle. What can they do here on third down and seven? Hopkins sent in motion. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. And that is incomplete. 
Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike, and they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum, figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle, and they just cannot get anything going through the air. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Here's the Detroit offense now, headed back onto the field. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. They'll start this one on the ground with Gibbs. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Well, this play, Mike, was clearly about the job of this defensive line. Great job holding their ground, forcing these blockers to be stood up. Nowhere to go for this running back, and they hold him to no gain. Throwing on second down. Goff. That's to the right side and incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the receiver he was trying to target. And it'll be third down. We see this time and time again in the NFL, Mike. You want to play quarterback at this level, you better figure out a way to be able to bounce back following a bad throw, a bad series, a bad game. And in this case, he's got to bounce back from a pick on the last drive. And he's got to find himself some easy completions and settle himself back into this one. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. And truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. The Lions will punt this ball away as he's on to punt for the second time. This kick hangs up, and a fair catch will be taken beyond the 35-yard line. The Titans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Off the play fake, it's Levis. He'll take a shot here for the end zone. That'll be batted away, incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. They come to the line, needing 11 here on third down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. Well covered on the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amik Robertson. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. A run up the middle, it's Gibbs. He'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. Linebacker Ernest Jones ends that play. A second down throw for Goff. To the outside, that's St. Brown. They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. From the gun, it's Goff. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Anytime you bring pressure like that, Mike, you're counting on getting to the quarterback before you get beat downfield. 
The vulnerability of that play call is in your pass coverage, but when you can get home and get to the quarterback that fast, the offense never has a chance to stress your coverage. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. The Titans' offense ready to take over once more. They'll begin with first and 10. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. Again, it's Pollard. And he'll be brought down on what will be the final act here in this third quarter. So, points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. He'll run. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Pollard with a nice first down run, and the Memphis native returns to Tennessee after an impressive five-year stint with the Cowboys. He's coming off two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, and he should be a huge part of the solution and part of filling the hole left by Derrick Henry. They'll keep it on the ground. Well, this has been the story of the entire game, Mike, is just how well this defense has played, particularly against the run. There has been nowhere to operate for this offense, and it continued here on this last play. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Now Pollard. Ooh. And trying to lose an Oz from the crowd, sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. Here we go. Third and a yard. They bring their tight end right. They'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. And a nice job. They pick it up. First down, the march continues. They're at the 41-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. They'll stick to the ground. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Here comes Pollard. And good hard running will get him down close to a first down. Might be a yard short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. A give to Pollard running right. He's got the first down. They'll bring him down at the 28. But the sticks will move. First down picked up on the ground.
They give to Pollard on the option. Finding space at the 15. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. That is a gain of 22, and it sets up first down and goal. Really nice job getting this ball out to the edge, and then once he's able to get clear of the D-line, get vertical and accelerate down the sideline. That's a great run. He's forced out of bounds, but not before setting up first and goal. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. Field goals and takeaways. That's the two goals anytime a defense finds themselves in a goal-to-go situation. Now for that first down sack, I think the odds are a little bit more in their favor. Can they hold up here on second and third down? And if they can make the offense settle for three, man, that's a huge win for this defense. They'll run here with Pollard. And he's going to get this down to the 10-yard line. For the lead, here is third and goal. Throwing is Levis. He's got it at the three. A nice run there, bringing it down to the two. And decision top, fourth and goal. Touchdown, Tennessee. So they decide to go for the touchdown, and Greg, they get rewarded on fourth and goal with the six points. Yeah, I think the safe bet there is you settle for the field goal and you're happy coming off the field with points, but not this play caller. He rolls the dice a little bit, but give credit to the offensive line. They created just enough of a lane for this back to take it in for six. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Reynolds now on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to get back to work. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Throwing left side. And it's taken in by Williams. It is second down and five. Throwing here is gone. Right back to Williams. They connect again. And they'll get him down after a gain of five. But that is enough for a first down. Now, gone. This one caught by Patrick. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Goff to throw. 
quickly to the outside and complete. A pickup of 14 on that one. Good for a Lions first down. And now, after that catch, they've got a chance here late, Mike. They've got enough time to try to move this thing down. I think they can win the game on this possession. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. Goff going to throw here on first and ten. Over the middle. He's got St. Brown. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Final minute, one timeout remaining, and it's first and ten. To throw is gone. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. So I still think there's plenty of time if they can get within shot of the end zone that they can go for a touchdown and try to win this thing in regulation. You always have a field goal try in your back pocket to at least tie the game and force overtime. Here's second down. Back to the air, it's gone. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And the defense has it. They'll come up here first and ten. Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. The visitors' offense back onto the field for their next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and eleven. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Titans. A bit of a surprise, this one on paper. You figure this would have been a difficult assignment, trying to win away from home against a team of this caliber. No problems, though. They find a way to get it done. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.